U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen calls climate change an existential threat to not only the environment, but to the economy. And we need to ensure that the private sector is pricing in the risk of climate change to their investments, too. Yellen isn't the only Biden administration official mixing business with climate. The acting chairman of the Commodity and Futures Commission recently announced the establishment of the Climate Risk Unit. And the acting chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission has called for public input from investors and other market participants on climate change disclosure. The Biden administration is really infusing this interest in climate change throughout all aspects of government activity. And so one of the things you're seeing at the Security and Exchange Commission, at the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, is simply a, a push to make more climate-related information available. And I think this makes a lot of sense. This can help investors make better decisions when they think about where to put their money. Davis says he doesn't see the Biden administration's moves as pushing companies to make decisions, but rather helping companies understand risk. I think one of the surprising things is, is how close to home we're beginning to feel these climate, these climate impacts. Forest fires in California, for example. Last year, extreme weather events cost households and firms in the United States $95 billion. When I talk to people about climate change and say, oh, it's a degree Celsius warmer, people think, oh, it's not such a big deal. But it's actually these extremes in weather and climate that really cause um, a loss of life and, and financial hardship. So one event, one uh, hurricane or a set of fires can be easily $100 billion. Um, the fires in California, um, well over $100 billion. The Biden administration will face challenges getting all sectors of the economy on board. For example, I reached out to the American Petroleum Institute, which said it was ready to engage with the Biden administration. But it added that any regulatory actions on managing climate should not take a one-size-fits-all approach. But some companies want to go faster. On Tuesday, more than 300 businesses and investors, including executives from Walmart, Apple and Google, called on the Biden administration to cut greenhouse gas emissions by at least 50 percent below 2005 levels by 2030. I think businesses have, have typically said, just give us the goalpost. Just tell us what, what do we need to do and, and set the level playing field so that we all can meet these targets. And so the government now is saying, OK, we're going to take this seriously. And you can see the companies coming and saying, OK, uh, and, and in some cases even saying, oh, we can even do this quicker. As a climate scientist, Cordero says this is the type of response he's been waiting for, a belief that it's just good business to take climate change seriously. Morph New, CGTN, San Francisco.